Hey there and welcome again. Um, I thought I should update the last video I made about importing and exporting WooCommerce products as CSV files. Um, the last video, those products uh, really, the whole process was a bit uh, long and you had to use two plugins and it was a bit at the time it was it was good but now i found a better way and i thought i should update that and this time around we're only using one plugin and that's the coolest thing of all and the other cool thing is that it's really easy um the whole process it's more or less automated um the plugin itself is called product import export for woocommerce now it's a great plugin for what we need we can get everything for the free version but it's got a premium version you can check it out you can do what you want to do with it um but for now let's just uh experiment with this and let me show you how quick and easy it is so right here we have all our products right um and these are different types of products uh, some are variations some are simple products um etc now what we want to do is to go ahead and just add that plugin and we can find it in the uh in the wordpress and we don't really need to go to the website to download it which is a bit long so i've already downloaded it let's activate it and just as you do that it takes you to the product export and it's already mapped out all the fields that you have for your products which is really cool um it's very straightforward it's not confusing at all um you might not have these it will pick up on the ones that you have and you can toggle to see or to export or import them if you want and again if you want the free version uh, the, the premium version excuse me you can check it out um but for our purposes this will do just fine so let's export our products and there it is i'm not going to open it um what i want to do now is to just go ahead to our products and delete all our products so we can import them again so let's just check that all of them are on one page so we don't repeat the process let's move that to the bin And then let's delete that from the bin as well. So let's delete them permanently. Okay, there we go. Now, our shop is empty. Now take a look at what happens when I try to import using the native WooCommerce system. Now, for some reason, I get this weird uh, security error, which I've tried to address. Now, if I, was, if I was going to use that for both import and export, I would look at the problem much more deeply, but we don't need to. Let's go back to our plugin that we activated and let's go to product import and as soon as we do that let's go choose our csv file that we just uh, exported let's go to the mapping and again it does it automatically which is another thing that i love so if for some reason you want to change that which i wouldn't know why you would want to do that um go ahead but it does it it maps it out automatically for you as long as you exported it from this plugin i would assume or from this shop so um it does need further playing around with in terms of if you have something bespoke maybe you're using two systems um you know you can play around with that but this is a great starting point um so now we're importing everything and depending on how many you have how many products that is uh, it would take a certain amount of time generates the thumbnails for you if they're already in your system and there we go finished import complete you can mess around with your products in csv formats here and there um and let's take a look to see if everything is great and there we go nicely no errors nothing it just does it nice and easy no headaches so that's it for you um have fun with it and enjoy